To call The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild a big game is a bit of an understatement. It's so chock full of surprises and mysteries that you could play for weeks on end and still miss a ton of fun stuff. But if you're a little pressed for time exploring every nook and cranny in Hyrule, don't worry, we've got you. We've compiled some of the best easter eggs the game manages to sneak into its world. Now, if you're more of a home buddy and hunting for secrets isn't quite your thing, you can check out our cooking guide or our video on how to make money instead. But if adventure is in your heart, let's go find some secret stuff. Easter eggs might be hidden all over the map, or maybe they're closer than you think. In fact, if you pull out your scope and mark a location in the distance, you'll see the marker extend to the sky. There is some text written in the Shaft of Light which says this. Now, these characters are all over the game and you might brush them off at first, but the game's alphabet has actually been decoded, meaning that this text actually reads, It's dangerous to go alone. A reference to the moment you get the sword in the very first Zelda game. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's get moving! Traveling between all the locations in the game can get pretty tiring. Good thing you have your horse, right? The wind in your hair, some nice music playing... Hey, wait a second. Let's speed that music up a bit. No, you're not imagining things. That is actually Zelda's lullaby you're hearing. And if you head on over to the Temple of Time and speed that music up, well, you might hear another familiar tune. Yes, the music in Zelda is great, and hidden tracks like these make coming back to certain parts of the game all the more rewarding. And while we're looking at ties to Ocarina of Time, here's another one. We know that Hyrule has been severely messed up thanks to Ganon, but the casualties of the Calamity aren't always that obvious. If you venture into Hyrule Field, you'll come across what the map calls Ranch Ruins. But if you take a closer look, it's not just any old ranch. If the entrance, Fallen Tower, and racetrack seem familiar, that's because this used to be Lon Lon Ranch. While its residents are long gone, and you won't run into Talon, Malin, or Ingo anywhere in the game, Ipuna still lives on, albeit in amiibo form. And that's good enough for me. And speaking of residents, uh, er, presidents, there is a traveler you can meet that bears a striking resemblance to Nintendo's late former president, Satoru Iwata. His name is Batrik, a watchman who can be found wandering around the outskirts stable just north of the Great Plateau. If you talk to him, he'll give you some advice on nearby environments and monsters, as well as sell you some equipment for your travels. Maybe it's the prominent split in the hair, or maybe it's the glasses affixed to his face, or perhaps it's the warm, welcoming demeanor of the character that reminds me of Awada. Regardless, Botrick is a gentle soul, diligently fulfilling his duties as the stable's watchman. If you pester him enough, he'll tell you about the Lord of the Mountain, a mythical being atop Satori Mountain. And if you travel to that location, you'll find a cherry blossom tree overlooking a small, serene pond. But come here at just the right time, and you might actually catch a glimpse of that lore of the mountain he was talking about. So what do you think of these Easter eggs? Do you think they're legitimate, or are we grasping at straws here? And are there any that we should include in another video? Let's talk about them in the comments below and consider subscribing to the GameSpot YouTube channel for even more Zelda Breath of the Wild coverage.